what can you do today that will make you move forward even if it's by like one little inch or centimeter hey guys welcome to the your wealthy journey show is where we in, um, interview successful entrepreneurs successful people we want to learn more from them from their success journey and today we have someone very special and her name is florence um Tarif. did i speak that name correctly Tio, Tio, yes. <laughs> yeah it's uh, a bit french I, yeah <laughs> nice. and um who is Florence? I will just uh, call you by Florence because that is uh, mm -hmm. easy for me. Uh, of Florence is a lifestyle and travel blogger. Um, she's host of the Facebook group um, Caribbean, and she has a passion for the Caribbean countries. And she's a young woman with big dreams uh, for the Caribbean countries. Florence, mm -hmm. welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me, Joseph. I'm really happy to be here. Okay, glad to have you here also. Florence, we'll dive into our first question. And our first question is, what does wealth mean to you? Um, to me, wealth means being free from limits. Um, so basically being free from limits, whatever things in your life are limiting you, being able to break away from them. So for some people, that might be financial limits or um, social limits, but um, it can be really anything. But so long as you're able to take those limits away, then you, for me, you become a wealthy person. Okay, nice. Now that we know what the wealth means to you, tell us a little bit more about yourself, about this special journey that you're on right now. Yeah, so basically, uh, right now, um, I'm conducting a year long research project around the world where I get to explore um, islands uh, that are part of another country, so non-sovereign territory islands. And um, I, I'm exploring uh, people's identities in those places um, because of my bringing in Martinique. And so that's gonna be going on for a year. And at the same time, I'm also working on developing my company, Carry Beyond. Um, so that I can uh, create a shift in the way we do things in the Caribbean region. Okay, nice. And um, um, at what day did you start this journey that you're on? Uh, I started on September 13th and I'm supposed to go for a year or so until 2018. Okay, so you have a lot of time yet to travel. Yeah, I do. <laughs> nice, nice. And um, the idea for this, this mission that you're on, um, how, how did the idea come about? About Caribbean? The Caribbean and the, and the traveling. And the traveling. Yeah. Um, so first with the traveling, um, it was really started by my upbringing in Martinique and um, growing in an island that was uh, fairly complex with uh, this French identity, but also this Caribbean identity. And then the mixing of all the different cultures and ethnicities in our island with like African, Indian, European, um, Chinese, everything you can think of, we have it. And so growing up, I was always very curious about um, trying to understand who I am and how to define myself. And that became even more complicated when I moved to the U.S. And uh, when I told people where I was from, they were just very confused and I was having a hard time explaining it to them. Mm -hmm. And I realized that there are a lot of different other islands around the world uh, who are in a similar situation. Um, so that's why I'm going um, to particularly um, non-sovereign territories around the world, such as the Canary Islands, where I am right now. Okay. Uh, they are part of Spain. And then I'm going to Mayotte and New Caledonia, which are French territories. And then I'll be going to American Samoa, which is American, and really trying to understand what are um, other people's perspective on this kind of political situation. And then... As for Caribbean, um, that started from, um, so Caribbean is uh, a startup company um, that wants to, uh, that creates platforms for young visionaries from the Caribbean region, living inside and outside the region. Um, platforms where they can connect, be inspired, and feel empowered. Um, so that, that's our goal. And um, that can be both, both in the form of digital and live event platforms. 
but um, that arose from uh, my frustrations and my desire to see my region do better. Um, because when I moved to the U.S., I met a lot of people from the Caribbean region. It was the first time that I met people from different countries. And I um, realized that we have so much in common, but yet we don't really interact a lot with each other. And especially I, I realized that there are a lot of young people in particular who are really trying to make positive change happen uh, in the region, also outside of the region. And... Um, I noticed that a lot of the efforts were done individually. And for me, I'm a big believer in collaboration and finding your tribe and building a support system that brings you higher. So that's really what um, we're trying to achieve with Caribbean. Okay, awesome, awesome. I see it's a big dream. So yeah, it is. what's your vision for the, the Caribbean in the next two to five years ahead of us? Um... I envision that the Caribbean region will have a, a group of young people who are visionaries and that are going to be super connected with each other and um, supportive of each other and who are going to make massive change happen in the region, massive positive change um, happen in the region. It's going to be incredible. <laughs> Awesome, awesome, and um, the what do you see as the biggest struggles that um, millennials face? Because um, I, I, I think um, you, your focus is more on the the young people, and mm -hmm. what do you think that, that the biggest struggles that young people have today in the in the Caribbean countries, like in starting a, a business to 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 live their dreams? Yeah, um, I think there are a couple of factors, but one of one of the ones that I noticed and I'm trying to focus on is um, lacking the support um, in their in their projects. And what I mean by that is that um, there is this saying um, that says your your network is your net worth. And basically, I think uh, living in the U.S. and going to other places in the world, but especially in the U.S., I've seen how much um, entrepreneurs in the U.S. and um, other leaders um, have really strong support system of other people that are doing similar things in different areas and how much they are able to rely on each other um, to get further. And that doesn't mean that other people are doing your work for you or uh, you still have like that individual drive, but a lot of people have this, this entire community or their different tribes that are there for them to support them and because of the kind of complexity of doing business in the Caribbean region if you don't have um, a support system and a network that can help you get further then you're going to be going a lot slower than what you could be doing so that's um, what I'm seeing as one of the main issues okay and how do you think that we can overcome this this issue and um, soar to the the, the future? Um, I think it's gonna come to building bridges between people. Um, and that's a slow work. I'm trying to do it really, uh, for the past few months I've been trying to do it, but it's, it's slow and you have to pay attention, but it's really important to start building bridges um, between each other, both within individual countries and also within the entire region. Um, so that um, I think bridges can bring a couple of things for us. One can bring awareness about what is, what is going on in your environment, because you might know what is going on in your city, who is creating what, um, but you might not even be aware that there is someone that has the same vision as you in like two countries over in the Caribbean. Um, and what could happen if you got to know that person and then you join forces and then you start, you're both working on some mission, so you might as well work together, you know? Um, and so I, um, I think it's really, uh, going to be about, uh, bringing more awareness of what is going on in our region and how, and then after that awareness is, is, um, created, creating, um, 
strong human connections in between <clears throat> in between all of us and um just showing up for each other and and thinking of uh individuals um success as our collective wealth not just um oh he's doing really great good for him no if he's doing great that's gonna be good for all of us so we need yeah. to help him bring, bring him up okay great great and um what do you advise our young people in our caribbean countries and maybe also all around this world because this video will go in this whole world what do you advise mm -hmm. um, our young folks to to do to follow their dreams um I think I have a couple of advices. One would be uh, to listen to what your intuition and your your soul is telling you that you want to do, um, and not try to shut down those those thoughts because we live in a world where um, a lot of people try to box you in this thing and tell you what you can and cannot do, and um, it's really important to have this self-awareness and to know what you're trying to create and not um, settle for what society is trying to impose to you. So first will be self-awareness. And then second is to focus on the small things that you can do to get closer to your dreams. I think for me, um, I used to get very overwhelmed when thinking about big goals, especially in um, in college. I just graduated in May, so I had a lot of big goals, like writing a thesis yeah. and all of that that I had to accomplish. And when you think about um, huge goals that you have to accomplish, it gets overwhelming and you get stressed and you don't know what to do and you panic and all of that. Um, so one of my advice would be to... Um, focus on the small steps like what can you do today that will make you move forward even if it's by like one little inch or centimeter um and uh by breaking down things and kind of seeing the small steps that you need to to take to get to your final destination you realize that um you're making a lot of progress daily and that's what i've been doing a lot this year just uh, trying to to rush the process because the process is necessary. There's a lesson in every day that you have on this earth. And so really trying to enjoy the, the process of uh, taking small steps and then starting to see uh, resu results um, come up. Awesome, awesome. Um, no, the, that's the first round, quickly. Yeah. Pass by. And our next round is a fun round and just to get you to know you a bit better. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. okay, good. What's the best book you've ever read and why is that? The best book I've ever read. Oh, a recent one. It was um the the hidden secrets of water. I don't remember the uh, the author, but it's a Japanese author, and he okay. basically did this. Um, my brother recommended it to me. He did this analysis of um, the creation of um, water, like ice crystals, like snow, kind mm -hmm. of. Yeah. And um, how different putting different words that have like positive or negative connotations either creates beautiful uh, crystals. Okay. Uh, with the positive things and with negative things it just nothing is forming and um, it, it's like a real scientific experiment that he conducted and uh, he then brings it up to uh, humanity and how we're m made mostly of water and our body is like 90 to 70 percent water and he's like, okay, so if this is happening with regular water, think about yourself as a human being, mostly made of water. Uh, what does uh, positivity and negativity, how does that affect you? Um, so it kind of made me think like, whoa, this is like a crazy uh, analogy, but it's true. Um, okay. So um, kind of minding what energies uh, you surround yourself with and, and again, bringing that awareness of what's, what's going on. What's the name of the book again? Um, I think it's the the hidden secrets of water or the hidden messages of water. 
Okay, we'll we'll see that yeah. um see that up and put it in the the yeah. description below. Yeah, and our, our next. I can question. show you the exact author name um after the call. Okay, good. Um, our next question is: uh, What's a daily habit that contributes to your success? Mm. Daily habit that um. I think I have two. Okay. One is um, eating a good breakfast, which is kind of silly. But for me, um, breakfast is truly my most um, important meal of the day. And um, that's where I get my energy from to, to continue throughout the day. And so um, I put a lot of uh, care and attention into making my breakfast. Like I eat a lot of time, I eat either oatmeal with fruits or pancakes that I'm that I make with, with fruits okay. and um, that's like once I have a good breakfast I'm basically unstoppable for the rest of the day and then the second thing would be um, daily meditation even if that's uh, just for like five minutes or when I'm very determined I'll do like 20 minutes of meditation um, but for me uh, mindfulness meditation is a way for me to um, uh, become more present and also um, spark my creativity and um, so that's how I keep on um, creating things and, and thinking out of the box and and, um, and not being boring like <laughs> yeah okay nice and who are your top three role models top three role models uh, number one is Bob Marley, uh, just because I think he is such a great example of what Caribbean excellence looks like. Um, like his story is just um, amazing, like starting from small time Jamaica to international star that not only was famous during his time, but with his continuous legacy um, of what he accomplished is just um biggest inspiration that I can think of. Um, my second role model would be, who, who would it be? Um, I think, I think my dad, um, because he, um, he two years, no, a year ago started his own business. Um, and that was after years of working for other people and making their enterprises great and um and not being able to to launch it himself and even though i'm not gonna say his age in case he's not at me but <laughs> in, uh like to have the 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 courage to start your own business when you're already like a little bit older uh, and I've seen him struggle a lot during the first year of his business, but he keeps on pushing. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, that's a great example of courage and um, that it's never too late. That you can you can start at any time with, with new projects and it's okay to to change and, and try something else. Yeah. Um, and then my third biggest role model, um, I think... Huh. I'm hesitating between two people. Um, I think it will be my my big sister. Um, she, I have my big sister and my big brother. They're both really important for me. Um, so I think I can talk about both of them. Um, they're tied. <laughs> my my big sister is a great example of what it means to um to be uh. Uh, a strong woman and um, not in the sense of like the um, of beating the patriarchy or whatever but more about um, showing up for her kids and being a good mother and um, still pursuing uh, her dreams her professional dreams like finding that balance between family life and professional life and um, with, even with all the hardship that comes up she she keeps on fulfilling all her roles and then with my big brother he was just an example of strength and, and determination and um resilience and, and inspiration for all, 
all of the people that he encounters. So, yeah. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> um, our next question is, what's the best um, entertainment movie that you've watched so far? Other than, this is other than business. Okay. Um, I loved Avatar. It's my favorite movie. I know it's been a while, but I still like it's still one of my favorites. Uh, I'm a big environmentalist, so uh, the whole message be behind uh, the Avatar movie was just um, beautiful for me. I, I'm I'm really excited because they're coming up with a, another one soon, so oh, okay. I'm excited to see it. It's underwater apparently, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah. Our next question is: Let's say one day you woke up and you had no money, only food, shelter, laptop. What would you do in the next thirty days to earn a thousand dollars? So, I uh, can you repeat the question one more time? Let's say one day you woke up, you didn't have mm -hmm. any money, you only had food, shelter, a laptop, and the internet. What would you do in the next thirty days to earn a thousand dollars? Okay. Um, I would probably go with my uh, my most obvious skills, uh, which um, obvious and easiest skills, which would be my languages. So I would probably do something like translation work and teaching um, different languages because I speak uh, French and Creole are my first languages, and then I speak English, and now I'm getting to the fluent level in Spanish. Now that I'm in the Canary Islands. Okay. So I would go right away and um, look for remote work opportunities for translating um, things and then look for teaching opportunities online. Wow, great, great. And <laughs> we have two more questions almost at the end and give us a, a part of piece of, of advice and let us know how we can connect with you. Um, so how you can, a piece of advice and how you can connect with me? Yes. Okay, um, a piece of advice to, to the listeners, I would like to encourage you to um, believe in the signals that your intuition and inspiration are constantly sending you um, because everyone on this earth has a special talent and special gift that they we're given um, to benefit uh, the whole planet. And so uh, I am begging you, please listen to it and shine your light because we need it in this world. We really do. <laughs> yeah. um, and then you can connect with me um, on LinkedIn, Instagram, and um, Facebook. Uh, Facebook is Florence Jeryaf. Um Instagram too, it's Florence Cherry at Florence Cherry F. And then um, I can spell that F L O R E N C E T U R I A F. And then on LinkedIn as well, you can find out all the platforms. I'm using my, my regular name. So connect with me. I'm looking to to connect with amazing people. I would love to, to chat with you all. Awesome, Florence. Um, it was great having you here. And let's go forward to the future. Yes, thank you, Joseph. It was a pleasure. Yeah, it was a pleasure for me also. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys, I hope that you have gotten a ton of value from this interview. Um, I have a free gift for you guys and you can check that out in the link below. Um, it will be marked uh, free gift. It's a goal achievement road map and I believe personally that everyone should be successful in every area of their life so check out the link below and start your wealthy journey right now today bye guys right